Hi everyone, Nosipo here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very simple one. I'm going to be doing a review on the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Compact Concealer as well as Foundation. And I'm going to pair it with the Revlon Colorstay Powder. And just to top it all off, I'm just going to do a little bit of lip stuff um, and maybe some mascara. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys find this helpful because it's one of my foundation videos so I just want to show you guys how the foundation works and how you can pair it with the matching powder so thank you so much guys for watching my video thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next one and God ever stay blessing you bye so to begin I'm going to go in with my Revlon photo ready prime and anti shine and this is a silicone based primer I think I think it feels like a silicone based primer so this is what the product looks like when you open it I'm not going to use the puff and I'm just going to apply this in my t-zone area and I would compare this with the benefit professional in its consistency how well it works in terms of how it smooths out your pores and how it like glides into your skin I really like that and it's quite reasonable it just feels feather light on your face so I really like this primer also it is mattifying so I don't know if you can see on camera but it's filling out my pores and making my skin pretty matte in the areas that I'm applying the primer so for some double power in terms of filling in my pores because I do feel I typically have pretty large pores so I like to go in with a powder under my foundation just to make sure that my pores are filled out and I don't have any sinking in of the liquid foundation or the fluid foundation when I put it on into my skin. So now that my pores are nice and filled in and I've got my face ready and primed for my foundation I'm going to go in rather with the concealer this is the tiny little thing over here that's the concealer and I'm going to use that to clean up my brows because I already did my brows off camera so I'm going to use the exact same shade as my foundation shade to clean up my brows so this concealer isn't extremely thick it covers but it's not very thick if I had to compare it with the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer, because that's typically what I use to do this step, I would say it's not as thick as that, but that actually makes it a lot more blendable, so I actually do like that. And for a more day-to-day, -day ordinary look, not ordinary, but like a more natural look, I think it would probably make sense. So even if you were using a lighter shade, use a concealer that is this consistency and as light as this one because as you can see it's easy to blend like it's like blending nothing so as you guys can see my brows have cleaned up pretty nicely and now I'm gonna take my urban studio contour brush I like the density of this brush it's very dense and it allows me to apply the foundation and pat it into my skin as much as I want to so even if it's a contour brush I use it as a foundation brush so this foundation does come with a puff um, this is the puff that it comes with but I don't necessarily like using puffs especially um, puffs that are porous because I feel like they suck up a lot of the product and this as you guys can see is very creamy so I feel like I'm going to struggle to actually pick this up with a puff but as you guys can see you get a lot of product onto your finger when you do rub into it so it's very easy to take off of the pan and put on your face so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with the brush because I'm more comfortable using a brush and I'm gonna apply this all over my face if you feel more comfortable using the puff then you could just go in with that to apply the foundation all over your face so the coverage of this foundation is supposed to be medium to buildable I would say in comparison to the Revlon Colorstay liquid foundation this has a little bit more coverage but I would think that that's because of the consistency of the actual product so because it's a cream based product and not a liquid based product I think it covers a little bit more than the fluid foundation also as you can see I don't even really need to blend it like that far down past my neck because the foundation is such a perfect match with my skin so I really don't even need to worry too much about my neck not matching with my face as per usual 
I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender just to make sure that we have the foundation nice and laid. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the foundation. So I'm just gonna go in with the powder now. Um, so just gonna um, probably be wiser to use a fluffy brush. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. It's not broken. Oof. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to go in with out of frame. So I'm just gonna tap my fluffy brush into the powder. And I'm gonna apply that all over my face. So the powder is supposed to have a mattifying effect, which it does, because I did use this powder before. It does have a mattifying effect and it does actually help your foundation last longer. And I used it with my Estee Lauder foundation and it lasted pretty long. Well, the foundation itself, the Estee Lauder foundation is very long wearing, but I feel like the powder did play a good role and another thing I like about this powder is you can actually wear it as an individual thing like on its own because it is quite pigmented so if you want to go for a more sheer looking um, foundation look or sheer looking makeup look then you can just wear this powder on its own you wouldn't need to wear foundation underneath obviously this depends on how much coverage you need if you're trying to go for a fuller coverage look you're definitely not going to be wearing this powder on its own but if you don't have problem skin and you just want to look a little bit more flawless than you naturally always do, then this would be a good thing to try because you're going to love it because the coverage is good. So as you guys can see, this is the finish that I've gotten from using the powder and the foundation together. So it gives a very beautiful natural looking finish and yeah, I like it mixed up because I'm done with the foundation and we have a pretty looking face and this is just about the foundation no highlighting no contouring no anything else uh, but just so that I don't look cray cray I'm gonna take my Revlon super length mascara and I'm gonna apply this over my lashes I used this mascara before as well and it gives you the featheriest brows but the lashes lashes featheriest lashes but the only thing that I don't like is the brush like the brush is so thick so thick <laughs> um and the only thing that peeves me about this is that um bottom lashes with this brush does not happen but top lashes with this brush bombastic so that's the only tricky thing so you might need to use another mascara wand or maybe another mascara for your bottoms uh, especially if you've got like short lashes because you're definitely not going to catch them with this brush but otherwise the actual mascara consistency or rather the formula is good because it makes your lashes look good I mean less than one coat and we're already seeing a difference Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this pencil. So this is the Colorstay Lip Liner and it's just in the color red. It's just a basic red. But this pencil, guys. So when I was doing the swatches, when I got the products from Revlon, um, I swatched it on my hand. So I literally just like took the pencil and like drew a line to swatch. And when I went to go wash, like take a bath in the evening to get it off, I properly had to like keep applying soap and scrubbing my skin to get this pencil off so whatever's in this pencil that's the good stuff because it does not come off but this liner guys or I guess this range of lip liners if you're gonna go try the other colors are amazing so definitely not a zero this is a ten Hands down, 10. Okay, so I like the color that I've gotten with the line. And then now I'm going to show you guys my favorite thing, which is my Revlon Ultra HD Lip Gloss. I think that's what it's called. Yes! Ultra HD Lip Lacquer. Actually, not gloss. But this stuff, guys, it lasts forever on your lips. Oh. <gasps> 
forever and a day actually <laughs> it lasts so long on your lips i love it and it's so pigmented and it's a gloss guys So as you guys can see the pigmentation of this gloss is A1 like I really think it's quarter to a lip stain very close to being a lip stain also because when you do like try wash it off your lips or when you wash your face to take it off as well is quite a bit of a mission so it does stain your lips to a certain extent not as much as a lip stain obviously and it's not as drying as a lip stain because it is a gloss so yeah favorite stuff I love this stuff I really really love this stuff but now that we're done let me check if I've got lipstick on my teeth and I do just a little okay so we're done with the video very short video very straightforward video it's not about the glam I did get eyeshadows and some other stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys in future videos and essentially what's going on with me and Revlon is I'm officially a Revlon influencer guy Ooh, a Revlon influencer guys <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe I was being a bit too excited, but I'm officially a Revlon influencer and I'm so happy to be part of the Revlon influencer family and it's just so good to like, I guess, get recognized for the work that you're doing um, to have people look at you and be like, oh, I like what she's doing. I actually want to partner with her and I want to do something with her and it's so exciting for me and I really appreciate it because I mean, YouTube for me started so much as a hobby, but now it really is something that is becoming lucrative and something that I'm growing to love even more than I did in the beginning so thank you so much to Revlon for the products that I got uh, to be able to do this video and also thank you so much to you guys for your support because if you guys weren't there nobody would be even noticing me so thank you so much for watching my videos and for all of your support and I hope you guys like this foundation as much as I do because this is what this video is about <laughs> it's about this foundation and I love it I really do love it actually so if you're more of a natural sided girl then please do go check this out check it out girl you're gonna love it so bye guys and I'll see you guys in the next video